Hi YouTube, it's Mike with HHO Connection. Uh, just a quick video to follow up on the last video that I made. Uh, that was about how to connect your EBN dry cell with only two wires. This is the configuration that it came up with, the paddle connectors with the round connectors uh, soldered together with brass bolts going through. Uh, the only problem that I had with, this, uh, with that last design was the connections were still a tiny bit loose and I went ahead and soldered them to the plates to give it a much, a much tighter and, um, and better connection. So I'm going to show you in detail how I did that because soldering to stainless steel is tricky enough and trying to get the heat shrink over the connectors with the two pieces soldered together is even trickier than that. But I'll show you how I did it. Before I solder the connector to the plate, I just want to show you the connectors that I'm using. These I got at the, uh, the, the uh, local hardware store. It's by a company called Gardner Bender, GB. For some reason, these seem to stick to the plates. Others that I've tried, um, there were some that I bought by a company called Buchanan. Those didn't work. Uh, these seem to work really well. So I don't know if you can find this brand or I don't know what I don't know what it is about these that makes them work, but they do. So anyway, that's what I'm using. That's for my that's for my paddle connector. So I'm just going to fire up my uh, I'm using a butane torch, propane, butane, whatever it is, propane. I'm just going to get that going real quick. I turn it down to a very very small flame. I don't know if you can see that in there. Okay. So I'm just going to get a little bit of solder here and I'm just going to heat the plate right by the connector. Just enough to get it hot. Just keep running the flame over it like that. You'll start to see it brown a little bit. It's probably getting pretty close right there. I'm just going to touch some solder to it. Oh yeah, it's plenty hot. There we go. A little bit more. Might be a little bit overkill. It's going to smoke. Now we're just going to flip the plate over real quick. Let's see if I can get that in frame for you. Okay. Probably got that one a little too hot. It'll still be okay though. Heat that plate some more. Apply a little bit of solder. Oops, got a little flame there. I don't think that's going to hurt though. Yeah, that should do it. Yeah, a little bit more right there maybe. Okay. And that's the first part. Now this next step is going to be a little bit trickier. Because you want to put, what you want to end up with is this round ring slipped right over the top of there like that. But we've got to get a piece of heat shrink on there also. If you can see that in the camera. We've got, to, we've got to get a piece of heat shrink over that and we've got to get that soldered together. Now you can buy the tabs that already have the solder built in. They're a little more pricey. I'm kind of a cheapskate so I'm going to show you the method that I came up with. What I do is I take a little tiny piece of solder. I've got it in with my, my needle nose right there. I just clipped off a tiny little bit of solder and I'm going to slip the heat shrink over this and then I'm going to put the round connector down on top of it and I'm just going to slip that little piece of solder down in there like that and when I heat it up with the torch it's all going to, it's all going to melt together. So I'll show you that process. Take this connector off. I'm going to slip the heat shrink down over the top first like so. Now I'm going to take my connector slide that on top of there. Just kind of got to feel it on there. You'll feel it go all the way and stop just like so. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my needle nose, I'm going to take that little tiny bit of solder, I'm just going to stuff it down inside there like that. Okay, I'm sure the camera's probably not going to be able to pick that up, but there's a little tiny piece of solder stuffed down in there. Now I'm going to heat up my torch. Turn it down a bit. And I just want to apply heat to the tip up here of the metal and let it do all the melting for me. So I'm going to get the torch in there like so. Just heat the tip. And eventually, so there goes the solder. And you'll see the heat shrink. Just go around there. And there we go. A little bit of smoke. You know you're done. And there we go. Now we've got a nice, tight, 
secure soldered connection covered in heat shrink. Move on to the next step. Okay, I've reassembled the cell. You can see the three connectors, this is going to be on my negative side, are nice and tight on there now. So all that's left is to run the bolts and the nuts through there. And um, I'm using lock washers now. I seem to, I, I found that that holds really well. On the original video, I didn't put any kind of washers or solder or anything on there, but I found, uh, I've tried soldering the connections and um, I've tried the lock washers. I think I'm going to go with the lock washers. It seems to work really well. So the last thing we need to do, just start with the bolt on this side, feed it through here, take a lock washer, put it on there, take a nut, put it on next. Go. And just start fishing it through all three holes, making sure that you have a, a lock washer and a nut for each one. So let's see, we need to make sure we get another nut on here for this side. There we go. And I'm actually going to put my negative terminal connector. I'll put that in shot. That's that end. Here's the other end. I'm going to put that in line next. So that's going to go right there. Like that. Feed that through a little bit more. I'm going to need another. Actually, what I need is a lock washer before that. So we'll back that off. I'm going to put a lock washer. Then my connector. I'll feed that through. It's going to get a little tricky here. Probably should lay that down to do this. Like so. There it goes. We'll need another nut on the other side of that. through and I'm going to need another nut there. Hold that and feed it through. I'm not moving things around too bad on you there. Okay. And you just slowly got to work the bolts back. washer and nut for the end. And then you just tighten them all down, like so. Okay, now here's the first side done, my negative side. All three have been tightened down. It's nice and snug. Before when I did it, I would do like this and this would rock back and forth. Now it's just as solid as it could possibly be. There you go. Well, that's my video on how to solder your connectors onto your EBN dry cell and connect it with just two wires. We sell the EBN dry cells on my website, HHO Connection. I have both the assembled and the unassembled units. And if you'd like for me to assemble it for you and solder the terminals in this configuration for you, I'd be more than happy to do it. Just drop me an email and we'll work something out. Once again, that's HHO Connection for all your EBN dry cells. Thanks, guys.